Hi, Cancer. I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here. Apologize if you hear sounds. It's Sunday, so there's everyone's at home. We have their stance, the Fool, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person's not ready for stability. They're looking for a good time. Some of you, this is someone you're casually dating or you will be getting to know. But they're open, right? To see where things go here, but I don't see. Things are at a standstill here, if you've been getting to know them, fool. Yeah, look, chariot. Standing in one position, no forward movement. Huh. Because we have a major arcana here, it can be something external, right? It's not out of choice that this person isn't coming towards you. It can be something to do with their work or finances here as well. But if this is someone from your past that, you know, there's no communication or a lack of initiation from this person, it seems like they're trying to move forward or have a new beginning elsewhere. But if that is the case, they're facing blockages there as well in terms of new love. How they're viewing you, Hierophant in reverse sun upright. Yeah, someone who's not as serious, you're taking things more, you're, it's more lighthearted energy. Some of you are casually dating sun fifth house. Some of you have children, so you could be focused on your child. Yeah, they see you, you've come out of something. I don't know if there was a betrayal here between the both of you, maybe a divorce. But it's like they're seeing you as someone who's freed themselves. You're feeling liberated. That is how someone is perceiving you. And if it's someone new, what I'm getting is that, yeah, they see you as someone who's casually dating. You're not wanting to be tied down. That's how someone is seeing you. In their feelings, we have Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. A lot of emotions. Does it get better than the Ten of Cups? This is true love. It's like someone who's viewing you with rose-colored glasses, but there's the romantic feelings here. Definitely. Yeah, it's like you represent wish fulfillment or ultimate happiness. They don't want to see you get away. You make them very happy. They're very passionate about you as well. There's passion and emotions. They have their eye on you. Do you see how he's looking? He's looking in the direction of your spread. Some of you have a family with this person, children. They're not going anywhere. You're the one they want. Yeah, they don't think they're stuck on you. I don't know what your situation is, but this person is wanting you. You may be on bad terms here because we have Queen of Wands in reverse in your feelings. That can talk about resentment, bitterness. We'll see. Okay, maybe I'll pause the video here because that's going to come through as very loud. <laughs> okay, we're back, Cancer. Sorry for the interruption there. Uh, so their intentions, we have Nine of Cups, Four of Wands in reverse. I'm not sure what is going on here. Emotions, we see that. Passion, we see that. But intentions, we don't see stability here. This person... Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was getting. This person wears a mask. Some of you, it's the, the keeping up with appearances, right? Everything's going well, I'm stable. But internally, it's like someone drained, depleted, very unhappy in whatever situation they're in. They're feeling trapped in whatever circumstances they're in, it seems. Intentions don't seem to be the best. It's almost someone who's, if I'm not happy, I don't want you to be happy is also what I'm getting here for some of you. This can be an ex I'm picking up on. Someone who wants revenge or 
they hold back communication to get back at you because you you've pulled your energy back and they don't have control over you so there is bitter feelings here yeah fallout here some of you this is picking up on an ex someone you broke up with and they're holding on to a grudge some resentment because they can't move on in their actions we have king of pentacles knight of swords in reverse now, they seem to be focused on getting their finances in order some of you they have a family children i mean if you had if this is ex-husband because we were seeing divorce some situation that you were feeling trapped and you've released yourself right um, then i feel like they want the family they want that family unit you know since third parties can be very common as well more common than we think and if that is the case Head carefully with this person because as someone with a wandering eye they're they have feelings for you but they're also not wanting to step out of their comfort zone here their security right which is why things are moving forward with the both of you queen of swords if you've cut them off <laughs> this person it's like you're all around them Regardless of what happened, this person's having a hard time releasing you energetically. If this Queen of Swords in reverse is your energy, which is potentially is with the Queen of Wands in reverse, they know that you're angry or you're upset with them. Some of you have blocked them. But even if we look at the King of Pentacles, his head is turning around to look at the Queen of Swords. So very focused on you. And others of you, this person say, like, no third party, that's not the thing. It's like someone who was distracted, but also not wanting to let you go. They're not ready for solid commitment, but they also didn't want to let you go. So I want to have my cake and eat it too, to some extent. And some of them are just very focused on the, their independence and just getting their finances in order, is what I'm seeing. And if they are married, they're avoiding that tower moment with them and their significant other despite that situation being very toxic they're not happy in that situation but they're also not doing anything to free themselves in your feelings we have two of swords in reverse queen of wands you feel like you know what you need to know you're not confused about the situation and i don't see you wanting to take initiative here two of swords in reverse you're single you're independent you're also doing well ten of pentacles yeah, I don't. Uh, you don't see you don't see long term here. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you felt like this was toxic to begin with, and you're wanting to release yourself is what I'm getting. If there was obsession, addictions, I see you releasing. It's a new you, Cancer. You're ready for the new next chapter here is what I'm getting. Death. A lot of you feel like this is over. You've changed. You're not the same person you once were. Definitely grown. Some lessons you are learning, it feels like, through this connection. In your outcome, we have Three of Cups, Page of Swords in reverse. There is potential for reconciliation here, if that is what you want. But a lot of you, because you were saying it's over, I feel like you may be dating and you're looking for a new love. Let's see though, let's clarify Three of Cups. Oh, second chance. Uh, okay, I'll have to interpret this two ways. A lot of, majority of you, there's an energy of wanting to reconcile with someone, wanting communication. And you keep an eye on them. You're very curious about this person. There's attraction here and it's mutual. So you'll continue to watch them or wonder about them. And if you're saying there's no way that I would want someone from my past or ex, whatever the situation was, then it's, it's saying that there will be other options here for you. So you'll have to choose. Judgment can also be a decision. So it's multiple people coming through here or just someone keeping their options open. 
but I do see communication. So if you were to put yourself out there, you do have suitors, potential suitors here. In this person's outcome, hanging man, ace of wands in reverse, they're very slow moving. They're not taking action. It's like the slowest moving energy you'll ever get, right? Chariot in reverse, knight of pentacles in reverse, hanging man. Standing in one position, not doing anything. Look at that, page of pentacles. So if you do want this to work in the outcome, I'm getting it'll take a while. And some of you, the reason they're not initiating anything with you is because they were juggling. And in that case, they're saying you'll be wasting your time. They haven't left the situation. They're still waiting. For some of you, what I feel is that you're both waiting on the other, right? They're waiting for you to reach out and you may be saying, I'm not making the first move. That is also coming through. But there is blockages in your outcome. Oh, at least this person's outcome. You, I see you moving forward, whatever that means, right? Eight of Wands. Someone dragging their feet here in the outcome. Back together. Okay, you'll find your way back to each other when the time is right, and you'll soon realize the space that was created was to allow your love to take a different form. There is strong potential. You were wanting to reconcile this person was taking their time. There is an element of divine timing, right? We have when the time is right, having patience hanging man. So if you do want this to work, it will take a while. And another storyline I was getting, if you were married, you're in a long-term commitment with this person and they were, they stepped out, they cheated. It's like whatever option, whatever they were doing, I see them dropping that situation. It seemed to be more superficial or lust based you know but in terms of emotions they're it's you i don't know what you're you know i don't know the specifics of your situation but this spread is telling me that this person is in love with you that's all i can tell you here ten of cups you have everything they want or would ever need in a partner and we have work out as your advice. I don't think I need to read that to you. It's pretty straightforward. Some of you are needing to lift weights. This card always reminds me of lifting weights. Endurance. Don't stop now. Keep going. Your persistence will pay off. You're almost there. Commit to your dreams. One more. There's three decks we're using for advice this month. And stay, yeah, keep exploring. <laughs> That's funny. We have sexuality and curiosity. Exploring your sexuality. And we have true love here. Some of you, if you're completely single, you have definitely passionate connections headed your way if you want that. We have reclaim your curiosity and have some fun. Don't take life so seriously. You were doing that, right? That is how someone was seeing you. Sun, three of cups. An inspiration your ideas are divinely inspired blessing you with creative insights to serve a ca cause greater than yourself having flashes of inspiration or you're being called to serve others in some way in this lifetime maybe in dream state here some of you are healing I'm getting something about the subconscious Mars this person was intimidated Queen of Swords but you can outdo your opponents, stay calm and observe. Think you're on the right path because in your outcome, that's what you were doing. Stay calm and observe. So it's not the time to take impulsive action. Whoa. What advice do you have for Cancer, October? We have your prayers are being answered in the perfect way. Everything is happening exactly as it should for the highest good of everyone concerned. 
yeah, so you can find comfort in the fact that you you know you're on the right track here and you're being looked after. Important messages. Sometimes this can be, right? We're seeing angel messages, your ideas being divinely guided. It's re receiving guidance messages from above, right? From the angels. This is receiving messages, eight of wands. And we have important messages, wet paint. Valuable information comes via a direct source or through signs and synchronicities. There are no coincidences, so be observant and listen carefully. So you may be receiving signs, synchronicities, and that's, you know, whatever you believe in, a higher power trying to contact you or even let you know that they're there for you. Look, strength and endurance again. Endurance, endurance. You have more strength, power, and resilience than you realize. We forget how capable we are until circumstances test us. Trust in your abilities. Some of you are doubting your intuitive psychic gifts. That's for some of you. I asked about new love. I will be doing uh, your next serious relationship uh, partner next week and answering questions we haven't looked at before on this channel. But in terms of new love, you may have two pathways, two options. We have two of one's justice. So it's talking about a decision you'll have to make. But a lot of you, you're afraid of venturing into the unknown or getting out of your comfort zone here. So that may be keeping you stuck as well, right? So they are wanting you to explore and expand your horizons in some way if you are wanting to attract new love. The fears are holding you back, singles. But if you are actively dating Three of Cups, then it's two options here. So you'll have a decision to make. But that is where I'll leave you, Cancer. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye.